bite to Red X tonight. Or laugh. It's too short to be serious. Yeah, it looks different. It looks like I'm a passenger in someone else's car, doesn't it? Well, I'm not. Oh, and I get to advertise nationwide, which is our primary insurance at Coastal Insurance Agency here in Hampton, Virginia. We got a Suffolk location and a Franklin location. Now, I don't usually, you know, solicit business, but just thought y'all should know where I work. Anyways, I like this. This is cool, but really, I don't have the time to be doing this kind of um, angle because it just takes more effort. I have to cut my car on and I have to get in the passenger seat and all that good stuff. So why am I doing this? Well, the angle. Sometimes the lighting just messes things up. So I was like, hmm, let me just try things out. Just move my phone around. We got it here. So great. Um, I know you don't want to hear all this maybe, but just thought you should know if you're, you're usually here, you might be thrown off. So yeah, the sun was kind of like halfway on my face, kind of messing up the lighting there. So we got to kind of, we had to make it all good, nifty, nice looking. And now we're here. So now you get to see a little bit more of me and more of my t-shirt, which is great. Anyways, Mr. Beast has a new burger. It is the moist cheese or cheese moist. Moist cheese. It's the moist cheese sandwich. Cool name. Uh, there's some YouTuber out there that he collabed with again. And we got this shredded ground beef cheesy sandwich. So it's ground beef with cheese all over it's like melted cheese um got tomato lettuce it's supposed to have mayo but apparently they were out uh and buffalo sauce so and caramelized onions i believe so kind of like a philly cheesesteak but in the form of a burger and with ground beef rather than steak so you know take it how you see it but this thing is greasy very greasy so I did not get the box that says moist cheese on it, unfortunately. And neither did I get mayo, I believe. So it's basically just ground beef with cheese all over it. It is soggy as all oh, get out. This thing is a mess. But we're going to go ahead and pose for this thumbnail and get right to it. And then I got to toy around with that. All right, see, I kind of like that a lot, like the angle and everything. But as I said, you know, it's a, it's ground beef chopped up with cheese all over it, and buffalo sauce, supposed to have mayo, lettuce, tomato, caramelized onions. So yeah, please go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share, and check out my Instagram, right next snack. And let's get to eating, boys. Hmm. Actually, there's mayo. So they couldn't give me mayo for my fries that I asked for. Um, but they did get me um, mayo on my burger. So that's good. Now, what does this remind me of? Initial thoughts. It definitely really throws me into a Sloppy Joe Pot 5. That's what I get here. I think... It's just sloppy joe with alteration. What do I mean by that? Well, you know, it's not got that really disgusting sauce on it. I call it disgusting. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, that's kind of like, that's the kind of like a tomato-y sauce that's on it. Um, rather, it's more, you know, more dry in terms of the beef. And it's got cheese. And then it's got a nice kick from that buffalo sauce. I don't think I love this. But it's definitely an interesting sandwich, interesting concept as compared to how they normally do these things. It does have a pretty nice fluffy bun. It is, it, the description says it's toasted. I can see where it's toasted on the bottom here, but it's not extremely toasted. They did take their time to get it here. I don't know if they just had it ready for a while or the delivery driver got here, uh, got here a little late as compared to when they picked it up. But the sandwich was supposed to get here at one and it didn't get it out here 
uh, at, at too far after one. So I'm just like, I think it's on the restaurant's end here. So a little bit concerning there, but other than that, I wouldn't say it's my favorite Mr. Beast item, but it is very unique. Not many times can you, you know, order something from a restaurant that's kind of like similar to a sloppy joe. They just, a lot of restaurants just steer clear from it. They don't want to do sloppy joe, right? It's costly, messy, you know, all of those things. It's just not a very desirable product to sell. It was really cool to kind of see this kind of sloppy joe-esque kind of sandwich. And that's what I thought we were getting at first. Um, when I was looking at it, I was like, moist cheese. Definitely sounds and looks like it is a sloppy joe. But not quite. You know, it's more cheesy, uh, a little drier. And of course, you get that hot sauce, that uh, buffalo. To me, again, I, it's good. It doesn't like make me amazed and it is you know a little pricey i think it was like eight nine dollars so if you have a pickup location where you can just you know cross out a lot of the cost for this stuff you know definitely would be more worth it but you know it's it's not a not a terrible sandwich it's pretty good i would say probably like a, a six six and a half would be a fair assessment i think i do like the novelty the uniqueness and the ingredients are pretty good, but it does have those shortcomings where, um, I don't know. It's just a weird sandwich. And I don't, just like the concept of trying to get this delivered out is also kind of just a struggle. It's a mess. And I just think, I don't know, it, it could be handled a bit better overall. Not my favorite hot sauce flavor there. Um, again, it's like a buffalo sauce. But it's decent so for me i'll go with a six and a half i was thinking leaning towards a seven but again i wouldn't want to oversell this to you so for me not too bad enjoyable but you might want to just consider things out and price it out before you go and get this delivered or whatever option you go with so yeah that's my review i'm sticking to it and i will see y'all around Yay!